Well, hello friends welcome back to the cabin i'll tell you what it really feels good outside because it got down last night to 50 degrees which is really good sleeping weather and i'm proud to say that fall is finally here after that heat wave that we've had this past summer um and i'm looking forward to the cooler temperatures to get outside and work and do the things that i need to do um you know one of the things that i still can't understand is this top link and how i broke that you know i've asked several people since that has happened that operate farm equipment ask them if they have ever broken a top link and the answer was no but you know i think the reason being is i have one down there that came off of an old uh ford uh, 60 model um built in the 60s uh diesel tractor that i used to have that i actually sold um and the top link was very heavy this one's very light and I think that that's the reason is because that they made these out of tool steel. Uh, but I'll tell you, when you're doing things like up in the mountains here, things aren't like they are down on the, in the flatland um, where the dirt is a whole lot softer and you don't have to dig into the side of the mountain. Um, and of course up here, you know, I've got a lot of red clay and shale. Um, so that does make a difference, but I don't know what this thing hung on over there. It could have been an old tree root from when we did the excavation, but it caught and the tractor kept going and it just broke. So I did order a new one. It hasn't got here yet uh, because they didn't have any in stock. Uh, so I'm waiting for that to get here. And I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn this thing out, take this nut because they only come with one set nut. In other words, you get it set to where you want it to go, and then you put this right there, and then it keeps it from moving, because sometimes they will work up and down um, as this thing might rotate. So since it only comes with one, I'm going to put this other one down here so that I'll actually have two. Anyway, um, but yeah, that's crazy, being, uh, being able to break a top link out of, uh, what is that, almost one inch. Uh, tool steel um, But I think that that's the reason it broke like I say so anyway, but the new one is on its way um, And we'll get that put back on because right now I'm at a standstill I can't put any piece of equipment on the back of the tractor all I can do is use the front end so I'm gonna have to start hauling some more logs to Do any more building with because we're working on that third section. So I've got posts. I've got a cut. I've got siding uh, to finish the uh, second portion which was the actual workshop area down there so yeah I got a lot of work to do so looking forward to that thing coming back in so that I can get on with uh, what I need to be doing all right I never got to this when my son was here because we were busy doing other things but what I have here is some ready mix concrete patch now, I've never used anything like this before uh, so we're going to see how it works. If it doesn't do well, we'll dig it back out and put concrete in there. But I hated to waste a whole bag just for that. So I tried to match the color of the brick. We'll just see how this stuff works here. pretty big hole up top right here so I gotta put
Well, that patchwork wasn't too bad. It actually almost matches the concrete. I did a pretty good job of matching that. And it actually filled up the hole, so that's the thing that matters. Now, out here where I've got my propane tanks, I've got a chain that I need to install. I have a chain here that my brother-in-law gave me to put around these. And what I did was is I stuck this in the vise. And I squeezed it just enough. This is the largest screw that I've got. So we're going to go ahead and pre-drill a hole. Let's see. It's going to take a Phillips bit. Well, I think right about in there somewhere. Go ahead and drill our hole. we can take our bit, our screw, our bit. All right. Let's see how much we need. I would say probably that much right there would probably do me. So, Go ahead and put a hole right there. Yeah, we've got a hook wheel screw in there. Then we'll have to cut the chain off. About like that. that'll do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this right here. set of chains that will actually hold those up and keep them from falling and I've got another one about that same length for the other two when I get those so yeah that'll be really nice well that chain worked out really nice I'm glad that he gave that to me and it's heavy duty enough to be able to stop those tanks even when they're full so that's a good thing um, I'm heading down here to the workshop because I need to remove that scaffolding uh, my son and I we got the gutters up and what i've got to do is up underneath the soffit i've got a bunch of pieces left over of three quarter inch trim what i'm going to do instead of wasting a bunch of money on caulking i'm going to go ahead and put some of those in there that way i have less to do so i'll meet you down there
Well, that didn't take too long and it actually doesn't look that bad. So what I'm gonna do now, I'll take you up there to the cabin and let you see the fascia board uh, from the cabin side. Yeah, I believe the fascia board looks as good from the inside as it does from the outside. I'm really glad to have had that up there. And like I was saying the other day on the video, it actually laid under the porch for two years. And I told Patrick when he was up here, I said, let's go ahead and hang that so that I can clear out from underneath the porch and we'll get that up. So I think it looks really good. Yeah, he caught the ball. Huh? Uh-oh. He really likes catching that ball, I'll tell you what. That in the creek just makes his day. Anyway, friends, you know, I did manage to get a few things done around here, and I'm still hoping that that top link comes in for the tractor so that I can get busy hauling those logs. You know, uh, we got that tractor, what, about a year ago? If you haven't seen that video, click up here in the top right-hand corner. I think you'll enjoy it. Friends, thanks for watching. We really do appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.